Hey guys, I'm going to be talking about my favorite AI stack and how I use it inside Claude Code. I'm going to give you a ton of tips in today's episode, so let's just jump into it. Now, I'm calling this the best AI stack in the world. The reason being is I've just built three different applications on this. So we've got postforge.ai, harbourseo.ai, and then I'm currently making seogrove.ai on this stack as well. And this is proving to be extremely, extremely easy and powerful. So this is the stack right here. This is what it looks like. You can go and look at SEO Grove right now. Um, this is a completely different stack. I'm just rebuilding everything piece by piece using this new stack, just because I'm, I really do believe in this stack instead of using something else. And I previously talked about HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I would actually change that. You can still use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for the MVP. I would say this is the MVP, but for the real deal, I would definitely think about going with the stack that you can see right here. Before continuing with the video, just a quick word from our sponsor today, me. In the video description and in the pinned comment, there is a link to the school community. If you want to learn a little bit more about what we're talking about, from the absolute basics of coding all the way to being an absolute master in these things, launching production ready apps, SaaS applications, and I've launched hundreds of websites as well. I've been there, I've done that, I have three SaaSs currently. If you wanna learn how I'm doing that, I've put everything that I've ever learned about Claude Code, Stacks, Next.js, all of that good stuff into the school community. Thanks for your attention. Let's get back to the main content. Now, a couple of really, really cool things about this stack. So Convex, first of all, is so damn good. Convex has everything. It has CRUD, not CRUD, sorry. It has CRON, right? It has database and it's serverless, which means you don't actually have to worry about having a server running 24 seven. Extremely, extremely nice. You can at any time just click on logs if you want to keep up to date with what's going on inside your application. You don't have to go to DigitalOcean, it's just right here on Convex. Honestly guys, this is the good stuff right here. So yeah, the first thing you might say is, well, this doesn't look as good as that. We have actually ripped out the entire design of the dashboard to make things simpler within SEO Grove, just so that you know it's just easier for people. I really like this design, it looks amazing, but it's just all a bit fucking complicated, to be honest with you. So we, we stripped all that back, and we kind of made it all a bit simpler. But the real thing that I want to show you guys is obviously I did the same thing with Harbor SEO.ai. You can kind of see that it has the same system inside. Maybe if, if you look at it, like for example, the generate button here um, is the same as if I go on local host and I should be logged out. You can just press the dashboard here as well. Really, really cool system. I love the system, but just look at this for a second, right? So first of all, this is now live refresh. So you press generate content here and it just appears here. That is kind of, you can do that with anything though, obviously. But the really interesting thing is actually this right here. So I moved Harbor from an SPA, a single page application to Next.js and just literally overnight, it just kind of, grew immediately right because there's just so much more content here there's so much more for google to read i added a load of pages and really really started to push the seo of the website and you can see it just instantly had an effect so this stack with next.js honestly next.js for static front end because convex acts as a back end for you and is secure you can have your front end on anything and honestly the next.js Static front end seems to rank extremely well on Google. Now also Clerk for Auth is really, really nice. I've been using Clerk more and more. And yeah, you can see it's just so much easier to see like how many users you've got um, to add new providers. Just everything is so much easier with Clerk rather than something like Superbase with Magic Link or whatever. This is just so much easier. Okay guys, so let's talk about tips that I actually have to using Convex. Now, this is probably my number one tip. Uh, this is probably the only tip that you actually need, to be honest with you. So on my school community, I have this basic setup, but I just wanna show you something. When you run npx create app latest, right? Let's call this my app, it doesn't really matter. And then Next.js, clerk. Watch what this installs. This is the number one tip that I can give you. This will make your lives 
so much easier when using this stack. Now, just before we get into that, just to mention convex components are really, really good as well. These are basically preset boilerplates that you can use. So there's an AI agent one, which is really, really cool. If you don't know what you're doing with agents and you just want to get a very quick setup with things like streaming the response, etc., etc. There's also a Stripe component right here. And, you know, if you just look through these, there's actually loads of really, really interesting things that you might need, right? So resend, for example, I use resend for all of my email stuff. Um, you know, there's loads and loads of stuff here that you can actually use. But just going back to this for one second, when you CD into my app and then run npm run dev, which is, this is how you start a convex project. So we'll create a new one, we'll just call this video example convex and then cloud deployment. Now this installs something very, very important, which we will see in a second. Okay, so for some reason it didn't pop up that time, but it's this file right here. This is a list of convex rules, which is used for cursor. But if you right click and copy relative path, right? And then when you write Claude inside this app, so we're developing inside the application here, you can say, please read these rules before starting, right? And then you can put these in its memory or you can just continuously say, read these rules. It will learn how to use convex to the point where you don't even have to worry about it making mistakes. So if you don't do this, it will make very, very basic mistakes that will ruin your dev experience. If instead you get to read these rules first, you won't have that experience, right? You can see, there we go. It's now, I'm, re I'm now ready to help you with your convex project. What would you like me to build? And from here, you can build whatever the hell you want. Now, just one more thing to mention, guys. This agent's SDK, the TypeScript one from OpenAI, is extremely powerful. Everything I've just rebuilt for Harbor and SEO Grove use this system. And because they actually have an, a TypeScript SDK, you can use this directly inside your Convex Next.js project instantly, right? Because Convex uses .ts and obviously Next.js is also uses the same, right? And you can just give all of these one by one to your coder or get it to commit it to memory or put it in MD file. What I've been founding more and more is if you put things in markdown files, now obviously I know this is an old strap, but then instead of dumping like a huge amount of context to each sub agent, right? What you can do instead is you can just say, pass the name of this MD file to each sub agent because they will need it when they're coding. I found this to be much, much more effective than just copying a load of context over to Claude and then saying, include that in the context of the sub agent. The reason being is Claude is lazy. It doesn't have that much space to give an entire massive prompt to the sub agent. So it will not give all the context needed. But if you add a file instead, and it just copies the file name, it's gonna be much more effective for you. I'm gonna leave the video there, guys. I've been using the stack. I've just rebuilt all, oh, I just built PostForge and I just rebuilt these two websites on this stack. And I can tell you it's the easiest way to jump into SaaS development that I have ever seen. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I'll see you very soon with some more content. Peace out.